My name is Johnson Mwebembezi, uh, Chairman Emmanuel Mission in Uganda. I would like to share with you uh, some updates concerning our international training, Diploma of Theology in English, uh, with the collaboration of African Brethren Training Network. Uh, when we started planning for uh, this program, we had a number of things we had to look at. Uh, number one, we had to determine the training location, to determine the training dates and participant numbers, facilitator arrangements, uh, participant arrangements, and several others. And as we were planning, a lot of things uh, came up which we had not foreseen. And uh, number one, uh, when we looked at uh, determining the training location, uh, a team uh, to visit uh, and, and assess the availability of the appropriate space was sent. And uh, to look at uh, the equipment, the services, and uh, this was done, a place was identified, but we later on realized that was too costly for us. And we ended up using our own facility, uh, which is not adequate for a training of that nature. Uh, number two, uh, we thought about determining the dates and the participant numbers. Uh, the training dates collided uh, with uh, the school calendar, unfortunately, and many potential participants are teachers. So the school terms are not very clear nowadays due to a new arrangement because of uh, COVID-19. Uh, so uh, it's not easy to, to determine the actual days when the teachers are free and so there is that collision. On determining participant numbers, uh, many active leaders uh, were left out because uh, many do not possess the formal qualifications to enable them to participate. Instead of having a mix of leaders, young and old, we ended up having a big number of young people without much experience and the, the older people with much experience uh, don't have the formal qualifications to do this program in English. Uh, however, we have another program for them. We haven't started it yet. Uh, we are planning to have it, uh, a certificate in, uh, in the local languages. So that means we have to, to translate some material into the local languages so that these leaders who do not have the formal qualifications to also benefit. Uh, number three, uh, there was an issue on facilitator arrangement. Uh, the, we were supposed to arrange for the facilitator transportation lodging and the, and the meals. We had identified the two facilitators, uh, two Congolese brothers who have uh, the qualifications needed to, to call out this training. Um, one of them actually has a, a PhD and another one has a, a master's degree. Uh, but uh, we did not engage them because uh, well, because of the facilitation costs, uh, and uh, I ended up, you know, uh, taking it over, and uh, I, I, I got overworked for the whole week. Then uh, there was the issue of uh, participant arrangements. We prepared information for participants, including the training dates, start, and finish times, the agenda, the items to bring, how to get to the location where training was to be provided, but some failed to make it due to transport challenges, as I indicated. 
others arrived when we had already started and uh, uh, the one of the challenges that uh, many leaders lost their income during COVID-19 lockdown so they are struggling with uh, a lot of issues you know school fees for children uh, food at home and uh, you know trying to resurrect their small businesses and so when this training came in some were not uh, very ready for it also they needed it most then uh, the other issue was on determining payments each student is expected to to pay some more uh, some little fee of 25 uh, us dollars plus their own transport and uh, bring their own food uh, the ministry is uh, to cover the costs of accommodation for each participant. So we have been trying to solicit for donations from uh, believers and the partners uh, so that we get pa participant materials and the other supplies. But uh, some have promised us and uh, of course we, we had to commence. Uh, then the other issue is about uh, identifying uh, volunteers to meet caterer services and facilitating meal times for both participants and facilitators. So we, we asked the Kongiri Assembly where our main office is to volunteer in preparing meals and snacks brought by students. They were available and willing but they needed to buy additional utensils like saucepans, uh, plates, and the other supplies which we didn't have additional funds to meet such a costs that are blocked. Uh, the other issue was uh, on training rooms, seating arrangements, and the uh, utilities. Uh, because of COVID-19, uh, the seating arrangement has to be different. There, there should be enough space between the students and uh, when we are doing uh, you know, presentations, group presentations, it also poses a challenge. That means we need the uh, adequate rooms to, to handle that. So we use the Rukunjiri church, uh, church hall, which has you no know, running water around. Uh, it is fetched from nearby. They didn't have a functional audio visual equipment and a power generator. Uh, electricity was largely off most of the training days. There was no way we could uh, play recorded videos from the lecture or have PowerPoint presentations in time. We had to be patient for several hours uh, each day until power was available again. Yet students uh, we are working on a schedule and uh, we are required to finish their assignments bearing in mind the duration of the training. Uh, so we were able to finish that week but uh, the subsequent weeks of course we shall be carrying out that training uh, once a week in two months and the next training is uh, scheduled in August 2021. Uh, so we, we are expecting to mobilize enough funds to buy the training needs before that training. And also we encourage students, instead of bringing physical food, they convert it into cash, especially for those who come from far away, because we realized the cost of bringing food is almost uh, the same when you sell it off and uh, bring cash. Then um, we also agreed to print some copies of training modules to have the hard copy instead of re relying on PowerPoint and videos uh, because of power problem. And also uh, we agreed that we consult with our partners and the experts in the areas of uh, training 
uh, for well thought opinions. Uh, thank you for giving us your time to listen to this video. Uh, you just keep praying for us. Uh, you know, this is a, a great investment. Uh, we can't take this program for granted. Thank you.